Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today I'm going to show you how to take a outside light that is in pretty bad shape, looks crappy, and we're going to try to salvage this and make it look like we had just bought it brand new in the store. And it can be done. And I'll show you why. Right here is the rod that goes inside this. Alright. And this is what it looked like. All pitted and nasty looking. And I do believe that this is all brass. Because that came out pretty nice. That's the little tip that goes on it. The rod came out pretty nice. And I tested one of these. Here's what it looked like before. And it was missing a bunch of these round ones. So I had to find some other ones that I had salvaged for something else. And I had enough to do all, all of them on top with one set and on the bottom another set and here's what it'll look like after I've wire wheeled it on the wire wheel so I can turn this into a nice looking lamp again and it's got these curved glass and a little bit of steel wool on that real fine steel wool it will look like you took Windex to it. I'm going to do the whole top. And then we'll turn it over and do the bottom. And you can feel it when it's clean. Because you're Steel wool goes really smooth across it. No hang-ups anywhere. And there we have a clean glass. With my fingerprints all over it. There's the difference. So... You know, we can clean all these pieces up, and then we can put it all back together. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and wire wheel all the rest of these. And then I'll do this one next, then I'll do this one next, and let's hope that because that's a big surface that wire wheel on it, Ain't gonna mess it up, but let's try something real quick. Yeah, that's gonna take too long. So we're gonna, I think it's a solid brass, so I think we'll be alright. I ain't none too sure if this is coated or not, but um, let's hope it's brass. So we'll go over the wire wheel and clean these pieces up. That piece I'll just steal wool. That's actually metal. Might even make a new one of those. I don't know. That one's got some dents in it. And uh, we'll come back when that's done.
Well, we're going to have to rethink this process. Uh, when I went to go take these out, um, the little knobs, they were supposed to just slide right off, and they didn't, and they broke, because this was one of them motion sensor lights, but I can't use the motion sensor now because the damn thing's broke, so now we got to just make it a plain light. That, that makes me mad. Because that was the feature that I liked about it. So I got to make another piece for this. And I'm going to have to figure out how to cover this to make it look nice. Because I can't use any of this in here and I don't want this all open. So we got to think of a way to make that look nice. Maybe I can take a piece of aluminum here. And go around that. clean this up because what I'm planning on doing is taking and putting this on there but I'm gonna paint it black first but then I'm gonna polish all the rest of this so I don't really need to focus on polishing any of this all I need to do is polish from here out and from here this way so that can get polished this will be black and there'll be a black trim around it and I made it just wide enough to where it just overlaps this hole right here so that it keeps it round. So I may end up making one a little wider. I don't think that'll work. So that's how you change your mind. It's a shame. I wanted it to be a motion light. Because I was wanting to put it on the um, shop. So, I guess I'll make this and put it online for sale. Or I could just put it on our front porch. But I hate putting that much into this trailer. It ain't mine. Anyway, we'll clean these two pieces up. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. This thing's been split and I was wondering if maybe I could just take the tape off of it. And just let it all split down. Make it look like a flower. <laughs> and that tape don't want to come off for nothing. I'll just finish it up. And just pull them out. Make them all uniform. That way it looks like a flower. That one needs to come down a little bit more. Don't look too bad. 
basically that's what that'll look like right there. This looks like a flyer. <laughs> so that'll work. So, we'll clean these up off camera and paint this piece and get it ready and make this piece, which I can do that right now. And that thing's just right at the right size, too. And we got us one that's not bent. And it's got a little rough texture to it. Make it look good. So there's that piece. And... I don't know if it's wider or not. No, it's the same size. Alright. We'll clean the glass, these two pieces, and paint this, and we're ready to put it back together. Stay tuned. Alright, we've gotten all the pieces clean except for this one. I got kind of interrupted. Um, anyway, um, I've got all these pieces cleaned up. And I made this piece here to go around it and painted it with uh, hammered, black hammered. And the way, because it didn't have no holes for the wire to go through, I just took some two-sided window adhesive that goes in between a trailer window and the frame, stuck it to there, and then took an L bracket out of an old cabinet that I had and glued it or pushed it into it and it stuck to it. So now when I need to take that off, once it's dry, I just pop that off of there. We're, we're good. And that will wrap. around this part right here to hide all the other stuff that we're not going to use. And then once I've got it on there, then I can just drill the hole for this piece to go on, just like so. And we'll put us a rubber gasket in here, if I can find one, and that'll make that fit just a little bit nicer. And then once we get it on there, if you notice, it's bent in right here. You don't want to try to straighten that right now because you can use this as your leverage. So you can tighten it down and then just pull that and it'll bring that dent back out. And that's what this is for, all this right here. So I need to clean this up and I think we'll be ready to put it together. So be right back. getting there um, this cone part right here was really hard to get wire wheeled and it kept leaving black streaks in it so this outer edge looked okay it looked all like this over here you know you've got that uh, matte brass look and um, I'll probably run steel oil over them a little bit before I put it together, but who knows, I may not. And uh, I just decided to paint it the same color as the trim that's going around this, and it'll still have brass on it. And I just masked off this flat area and this flat area over here. I left the bead open so it'd get painted, and I left this part to get painted. So right now I just put a uh, coat of uh, black uh, as soon as I find it. Just dollar store black 
interior exterior paint and um, then after that dries then I'll go over it with this uh, black hammer hammered black and basically this paint here is just to give it a base coat so that it don't take so much of that to cover it and you get the right texture so, Anyway, once the paint dries, then we'll come back to it. Alright, well, this part here was so hard to put together, I just went ahead and put it together off the screen because I had to have help uh, holding pieces in place because I'm going to tell you, that was no picnic getting that back together. Um, so, sorry I didn't get to show you all everything that I wanted to show, but um, I didn't expect that to be that hard to get off, or on, or back together. So, basically, here's what we've got. I want to do something about this bottom, man. It doesn't want to stay straight for some reason. Um, but it used to be one of those uh, motion sensor lights, and I can still make it a motion sensor light. I think because I have this piece that came off of a separate light that does have the um, motion sensor that I may be able to mount right there. I don't know yet. I'm not sure how I would mount it to the wall. Unless I was to run a screw all the way through these two and this and all of it together. But I think that would make a pretty decent light. Every time I touch that, it goes off. I'm going to have to put a bushing or something in there to keep it from moving. So I was thinking something on the lines of that right there. You know, paint this the same color as this. And that would be a pretty light. And then I've got to make a top because I don't know where the top is for this. It wasn't there when I got it. So, um... But that's where I've gotten so far, and tomorrow I'll finish it after I do some work on the building and finish up part four of how to make your building great again, because I guess tomorrow I'm going to go ahead, if it's warm, I'm going to go ahead and start um, uh, putting the walls up. So, Anyway, y'all stay tuned. Well, let me show you a little bit of what I did. I don't know if I showed you this flower part where I made it look like it was a flower. Since it was all split and acting crazy, I just put it together and made it look like a flower inside there. So that when you put your bulb in there, it just kind of looks like a flower. And I think that will make a nice lamp for outside. And I was thinking about making a cap out of uh, cedar. But I don't really want wood. For the simple reason that bulb will get hot. And if you leave the porch light on, stand a chance of um, catching the wood on fire. So we haven't decided how we're going to do that yet. Who knows, maybe I have something laying around here that'll work with that. So anyway, until we get uh, to the next step, later.